We have a few tools now that we can use to make the mobile experience much better than we used to. We used to get to use the priority fields to move fields up and down, but now we've got a tool that we can use to add or remove fields from the mobile screen. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna take a simple example of the sales picking screen. We're gonna uh, change that around and, and take a look at it. So if we take a look here at the sales picking screen, you can see that the locations at the bottom, the, the items at the bottom, um, you know, maybe we want to get rid of the pick type up at the top, you know, when the first thing you're going to do is going to be pick anyway, so maybe you don't need that instruction. So we're going to rearrange this screen here that uh, so that we can uh, make it more useful to the user, or more easy for the user to, to see. So let's take a look at, the, at a few of the prerequisites here to, to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into feature management and um, I, this is, should be turned on in everybody's system. But if you go to all, um, let's just filter and we'll just look where it contains warehouse app. And it's these two uh, features that we want to make sure that are turned on the promoted fields and the app step instructions. Now, I think right now these are all enabled by default, but just you should go ahead and check those. This got me uh, when I was first trying to do this. If we go over to warehouse um, set and set up the mobile device and then warehouse app field names. You want to go ahead and come in here and do create default setup. That way all your fields are going to be added and all the fields are going to be available to you. All right. So the next thing, once you go into there, let's go to mobile device steps. And what we're going to do is this shows all the different step IDs that are available. And what we can do is if we go into the um, sales picking, so this, this is the same sales picking screen that we used earlier. Let me pull up a work record here just so we can get some work going in this screen and this is the same screen that I showed earlier so what we want to do is we're looking for the menu item for scan a license plate so if we go to the mobile device uh, step so we do scan a license plate title for input and so that'll give us the step ID that we need to affect Okay, I found that this works fairly well, uh, but, uh, but if you find other, other issues with it, comment down below and let me know what, where you're finding issues at. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a step configuration and the menu that we're gonna choose, the, the one that I've, I've been using is the, uh, that I set up was the sales picking, not the system, just the standard sales picking. We're gonna say, okay, there. And what we want to look at is down here in the promoted field. So if we go here and select fields, um, this is where we can determine what we want. So let's say we need our item. Um, we want our location and we probably want quantity and unit of measure. And we probably want um, the product name. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull all those over and we want so location is the first thing that we'll generally look, look at when we go to pick. Then we'll put item, then we'll have product name, and then we'll have quantity and unit of measure. Now we can even highlight two of these fields. Let's just, let's just use highlight here. Um, on, on, we'll highlight the location and the item in the screen. So we'll see what that looks like. And then we'll go ahead and hit okay. So really that's all to it, all there is to it. Let's go ahead and go into mobile and see what the what the effect of that is. So if we click over into mobile, let me cancel out of this, let me cancel out of that, and we'll go back into our sales picking menu. Let me put in my work ID again. And we'll see the example now. So now we've got the location, and notice it's highlighted in a lighter blue. We've got our item, it's highlighted in a lighter blue, and then we have our description and our pieces. Much easier to read for a for a user. Now, when you're doing this, you really want to, it's like any other uh, D365 screen. You want to review the screen, see what fields they actually need. Just remove anything that they, they, you're not going to use and, and then put it in an order that they want to use it. It just makes it the training and the user adoption that much easier. Okay, so I hope you gained some knowledge out of this. Thanks for watching. Till next time, see you later. Bye.